हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हाशिम अली खान दिस इज द लास्ट एंड फाइनल वीडियो ऑन प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन कंप्यूटिंग द इनकम फ्रॉम हाउस प्रॉपर्टी टोटली 20 प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस वीडियो 19th एंड 20th लास्ट टू प्रॉब्लम्स आई एम गोइंग टू फिनिश सो वी हैव सीन इन एवरी प्रॉब्लम वन और टू न्यू पॉइंट्स आर देयर सो माय सजेशन माय एडवाइस टू यू focus on those two new points remaining all the points are similar in each and every problem so comparatively if you compare income from salary with income from house property income from house property is easier to calculate provided you must have some interest and have some patience in watching the theory video i am getting lot of comments that students want fast videos fast videos only problems that will not do until and unless you are clear with the provisions so income tax will require lot of patience lot of hard work easily you cannot get the problems if you don't understand if you don't remember the provisions how you can solve the main problems all the main problems are dependent on the theory only again and again i'm telling so many times and students want uh, the income from capital gain income from other sources without learning all these things simply it is just like without putting the foundation without putting the first floor second floor directly we want to construct the 10th floor is it possible not at all anyway uh, i will go according to my strategy right 19th problem before starting the 19th problem i expect my viewers to have a print out of the problems which i have given in the link under my description take the screenshot of the points of 19th and 20th then i'll explain Now see the nineteenth problem. Mr. John Mitra, who is having income from all other heads, has two lakh fifty thousand rupees. Owns three house properties. He uses all the houses for his residential purpose. This point is exactly similar to the last video, eighteenth problem, I think. The same type of problems we have we have done. According to Income Tax Act, only two houses can be treated as self-occupied house. over two houses whether 3 4 5 6 any number of houses those houses will be treated as deemed to be let out for example suppose if a person is having three houses and all the three houses he is using for self occupation he has not let out all the three houses he is using for own residence in that case income tax act says only two houses you can treat as self occupied and the third house will be treated as deemed to be let out just like let out and we have to pay the tax right now assc has to choose which two houses he can treat as self occupied right now in this problem three houses all the three houses are used for residential purpose from the following particular submitted to you advise him in exercising the option with regard to self occupied property now we have to help with the assc in deciding which two houses should be treated as self occupied ultimate objective is to reduce the tax liability the tax liability will reduce when the income is less so we find out in which option the income will be less what are the three options the first option treat house number 1 as deemed to be let out and second and third house as self occupied first case second case treat the second house as deemed to be let out first house and third house as self occupied third case treat the third house as deemed to be let out first and second house as self occupied in this three situation we compute what is the net income from house property whichever option has lower net income from house property that option is better from the point of view of assc in that case his tax liability will get reduced right now here house number 1 2 3 cost of the house actually we don't require the cost of the house then municipal rental value fair rental value mrv frv municipal taxes due but not paid no deduction municipal taxes will be allowed as deduction only only if it is paid if it is due not allowed then interest on loan taken to purchase the house it will be allowed as deduction under section 24b 
then insurance ignore depreciation ignore no deduction will be given for insurance no deduction for depreciation that's it now one by one case we'll discuss computation of income from house property of mr john mitra for the assessment year case one house one as deemed to be let out and house two and house three as self-occupied this is the first situation house number one deemed to be let out so first of all gross annual value we get the gross annual value come by comparing MRV, FRV. We don't have ARV because it is not actually let out. It is deemed to be let out, just like let out. So only by comparing MRV and FRV, we find out GAV. So here MRV 10 lakh, FRV 12 lakh 50,000. So 12 lakh 50,000 is higher. So we take 12 lakh 50,000 as the GAV. Municipal taxes deduction not allowed because it is not paid. So 12 lakh 50,000 is the NAV. Less deduction under section 24. First standard deduction under section 24, a 30% of NAV. We got 3,75,000. We have to deduct. That's why I'm writing in bracket. Bracket denotes minus. Then interest on loan taken to purchase the house. It is given in the problem 1 lakh minus. So 12,50,000 minus 3,75,000 minus 1 lakh. 7,75,000 is the income from house 1 deemed to be let out. Now second and third house are self-occupied. For self-occupied house, NAV, nil. Only one deduction will be given interest on loan taken to purchase the house. Now there is a problem. If the loan is taken after 1-4-1999, maximum deduction allowed is 2 lakh. Interest on loan taken to purchase the house, maximum deduction allowed is 2 lakh. So here it is given for second house. Second house 1,50,000 is the interest on loan. So I have given deduction 1,50,000. So 0 minus 1,50,000 minus 1,50,000 is the loss from house number 2. House number 3. Again self-occupied house. NAV nil. Interest on loan taken to purchase the house. The total maximum limit of deduction for interest on loan is 2 lakh. Out of 2 lakh, already 1 lakh 50,000 claimed for house number 2. So 2 lakh minus 1 lakh 50,000. Only 50,000 deduction is available. So that deduction. Actually here interest on loan is given 1 lakh 50,000. He will not get the deduction of 1 lakh 50,000. Because maximum 2 lakh. 1 lakh 50 over now 50,000. The loss from house number 3 is minus 50,000. Now we want, to find, we want to find out the net income from house property. The so profit minus losses. There is income 775,000 minus 150,000 minus 50,000. So 775,000 uh, minus 2 lakh. 5 lakh 75,000 is the net income from house property. That is first situation. Now case 2. House number 2 is treated as deemed to be let out. House number 1 and 3 are self-occupied. So we calculate for house number 2 deemed to be let out. GAV, again you refer MRV and FRV, 17 lakh 50,000 and 20 lakh. So 20 lakh is more. Take 20 lakh GAV. Municipal taxes, no deduction because it is not paid. 20 lakh. Standard deduction, 30% of NAV, 6 lakh. Interest on loan taken for second house, it is 1 lakh 50,000. So 1 lakh 50,000. Subtract 20 lakh minus 6 lakh minus 150 is 12 lakh 50,000. This is the income from house number 2 deemed to be let out. House number 1 self occupied. The so NAV will be nil. Interest on loan taken to purchase the house. House number 1 it is 1 lakh. So 1 lakh deduction given. 0 minus 1 lakh. 1 lakh is the loss from house number 1. Now house number 3 again self occupied. Second house deemed to be let out. First house and third house. Interest on loan taken. Already 1 lakh rupees deduction we got. Now remaining only 1 lakh will get. In the problem for third house it is 1 lakh 50,000. He will not get 1 lakh 50,000. He will get only 1 lakh. So 0 minus 1 lakh minus minus 1 lakh. So net income from house property. 12 lakh 50,000 minus 2 lakh is 10 lakh 50,000. Second case complete. Last and final case. House number 3. 3 will be treated as deemed to be let out. House 1 and 2 are self-occupied. So house number 3 deemed to be let out. 
see the MRV, FRV, 15 lakh and 17 lakh 50,000, whichever is higher, 17 lakh 50,000 is higher. Municipal tax has no deduction because it is not paid, 17 30% of NAV, 5 lakh 25,000. Interest on loan taken, third house, it is 1 lakh 50,000, fully allowed because it is deemed to be let out. So 17 lakh 50,000 minus 5 lakh 25 minus 1 lakh 50, 10 lakh 75,000 is the income from house number 3, which is deemed to be let out. House number 1, self occupied, NAV nil, interest on loan taken, house number 1, self occupied, interest on loan taken 1 lakh minus 1 lakh. Now, house number 2, NAV nil, interest on loan taken to purchase, already 1 lakh given. So only 1 lakh is available, so 1 lakh. So minus 1 lakh loss from house number 2. The net income from house property is 10 lakh 75,000 minus 2 lakh. It is 8 lakh 75,000. So we have computed the net income from house property in case 1, case 2 and case 3. In case 1 we got 5 lakh 75,000. Here you can see. Case 2 it is 10 lakh 50,000. Here it is. And case 3, 8 lakh 75,000. Here it is. Now compare and find out where the net income is the lowest. It is lowest in 5 lakh 75,000, case number 1. So we suggest to the SSC to opt case 1. What is that case 1? Here we have written case 1. House number 1 should be treated as deemed to be let out. And house number 2 and 3 should be treated as self occupied. If he chooses this house, uh, case one, then definitely his tax liability will come down. Otherwise, if he chooses second case and third case, his tax liability will increase. That is the case. So it is suggested to the, to the SSC to choose case one, that is house one as deemed to be let out and house two and three are self-occupied. Since in this case, the net income from HP is the lowest. That's it. This is the complete explanation of problem number 19. Last and final problem that is problem number 20. Again, a new point we are coming, we are going to come across. Srimati Mamta is the owner of a house. During the previous year, she has let out on a monthly rent of 3000. This is the actual rent. The MRV is 30,000 per annum and the rent of similar building, this is FRV, is 35,000 per annum. Srimati Mamta incurred the following expenses, municipal taxes 4000. Insurance 300 ignore. Interest on loan taken to construct the house 6000 allowed. Ground rent ignore. Repair ignore. Collection charges ignore. No deduction will be given for this. During the previous year, the house was let out for nine months and thereafter Srimati Mamta occupied for her residential purpose. Compute income from house property for the current assessment year. The new point in this problem is. Part of the year, the house was let out and remaining part of the year, the house is self-occupied. Only one house is there. First nine months, it was let out. Remaining three months, it is self-occupied. The losses, income tax axis. When part of the year self-occupied, part of the year let out in that case. Treat the house as let out for the whole year and compute the income from house property. Ignore the part of the year which is used for self-occupancy. No need to calculate the income from self-residence self period, self-occupation period. In this problem, three months self-occupied, self-residence, nine months let out. So we have to treat for 12 months let out only. Don't compute the income from the uh, self-occupation period of three months. That is a law. That is a, that is given the provision under Income Tax Act. So here I have given part of the year let out and part of the year self-occupied. So the treatment to compute the income from house property is as follows. For self-occupied period, income is not to be computed. No income should be computed for the three month self-occupied period. Then uh, municipal taxes and interest on loan to be deducted for full year. While taking municipal taxes and interest on loan, take for the full year, complete 12 months. Don't take it for 9 months let out period, complete 12. This is the law provision given by the income tax rules. The period of self-occupancy is to be ignored completely. Income from HP is to be computed as if the house is let out for the whole year. 
We have to treat that the house is let out for the whole year and find out. But while calculating GAV, take the MRV for full year, FRV for full year, but ARV we take only for nine months. Because actual rent received is only for nine months. So ARV we take nine months. Whereas MRV and FRV we take for the full year. Now, computation of income from house property of Srimati Mamta for the assessment year. First, GAV. So in working out, GAV is higher of the following three amounts. MRV, FRV, ARV. MRV, full year, 30,000 per annum given in the problem. FRV, 35,000 per annum given in the problem. ARV, actual rent is 3,000 per month. So how many months it is let out? Nine months. So 3,000 into 9, 27,000. Now, whichever is the higher, that is the GAV. 35,000 is the higher. So GAV we got 35,000. Municipal taxes paid is given in the problem 4,000. Full 4,000 you should take. Don't calculate for 9 months. Deduction will be given for the full year. 4,000. 31,000 is NAV. Deduction under section 24. Standard action 30% of NAV. 9,300 minus. And interest on loan taken to construct the house. 6,000. Directly given in the problem. 6,000. Bracket denotes minus. So 31,000 minus 9,300 minus 6,000. 15,700. This is the income from house property. That's all. Totally 20 problems I have explained on computing the income from house property. In this 20 problems, all different type of problems we have covered. So if you are really interested, my suggestion, watch all the videos, every video, because you can get the complete command. If you randomly watch different videos, then you will not get the complete command. So it's a very interesting subject. Take the interest, have some patience in watching all the videos. So two heads of income we have completed. That is income from salary, income from house property. The next video will start for the next head of income that is profits and gains of business and profession, PGBP. That will start in the next video, inshallah. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel among your friends, among your groups, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we will continue in the next video.